months of the season when he had plenty of playing time and definitely earned his way back onto this squad. He did so many things well and had that great chemistry with LeBron with this quick touch pass to Curry and he knocks it down mid-range. Enzen was one for 13 in the last game, one for five from beyond the arc. Pass over to Poole, never met a shot that he didn't like. Really, he will fire it up, and he'll, he's going to gobble up some of those Clay Thompson minutes that are available. Here's Marquise Chris going to the basket, and he's fouled by Caruso. Be Best source of all, Michael Thompson with us all season long, and Michael not really sure what the timetable will be. How about this guy right here, Marquise Chris? I think the ability to stretch the floor a bit. Fourth team, fourth year. And uh, he needs some real size out there to, so that if they get that first switch off on the DeVale, he doesn't roll to the basket pretty good step into the lane by Dudley. And Dudley all the way. He blows the layup, but that's good defense coming back by Marquise Chris. Although, surmise we guess about 25 minutes tonight. That's an alley-oop underneath and the miss dunk. But the Warriors control it again, so they a couple of great opportunities. Yeah, they wanted three instead of two, so missed the, missed the dunk and probably get a three-point back. Right? Pick it right back Go up. Back in. <laughs> Off the fingertips, Marquise Chris. Good hand by yeah. Dwight, too. Yeah. Yeah. You could continue your point on Phil Handy. Yeah, he's, he's just very so well respected. working with players, uh, teaching things prior to games and in practice. He's, he's really talented at that. Little back door, and Lee finds himself alone and lays it in. That's Caruso, who is now on a full contract, and that system has worked for them the last several years. It's something they certainly have invested a lot in and want to keep going. And a loose ball foul on Dwight Howard. Isn't shoved. No more playing. Shoddy offense. 29% for Golden State. A little over 40 for the Lakers. Again, the news, if you're just joining us. Unofficial, but... Uh, Getting word that things for you and the finish by Kaycon. Nice setup by Dwight. Chris finds himself down the lane and gets bumped by Norvell. The dulcet tones of Lawrence Tanter, who is back for yet another year as the voice of Staples Center. Other PA announcer like him in the NBA. It's a whole different tone when you come to Staples Center and watch Laker basketball. Top five in NBA blocks. He was going just great until he got to, got ill in December last year. That one was. Yeah. Struggled a little bit after that. But eight and a half to play, so really anybody's game. Norvell, who's looked good tonight. And then a Kupo bounces underneath and the challenge and a good one by Chris. Very nice challenge by Chris. The glass. Boy, Antenna Kupo was there looking to rise and throw it down. That's a good read by Davis Stock. Coming up on the halfway mark of this fourth quarter. Marquise Chris. Yeah, nice little, little baseline jumper. Roll there. Yeah, shooter touch. Well, he kind of telegraphed that one right in the passing lane, too. Yeah. Evans was waiting for it. A little start stop. Challenges it to the Cooper. Good tip in by Chris. Timeout. Time out. Yeah. 